Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me. This is Julie Leggett Art. I'm going to show you some slow stitch book books today that I've made and will be going up for sale on my website. Uh, some of you will recognise from the slow stitch videos I've previously done. Uh, the ones we're going to start with first are these ones. This has um, been made with raw silk, which is beautiful fabric. Um, and I've done a collaged um, cotton on the front and that's got a swipe of gesso across the front and you can sort of fit hear that and a freestyle dragonfly this has been bound with some um, cotton made at the local mill to me at um, Crumford um, so it's like Artwrights Mills it's got a little heart charm on the end and it has my stamp on the back uh, this comes uh, lined with plain calico. They've all been lined with uh, like a padding, so they've got they're quite thick. Uh, this one comes with um, a pocket, and this is a, a vintage piece of embroidery, and it's a nice pocket to put things in. And also with several pieces of linen, slow stitch. You should use for your slow stitch. This calico. Uh, this is eco dyed uh, muslin here which is um, beautiful so this gives you scope to stitch your slow stitch pieces in or stitch directly onto the fabric it comes with a calico tire so you can tie it either around the booklet or to the side uh, I've got three of those side um, go on here with a slow stitch B Again with the collage and the gesso front, again with the raw silk. This is a very good quality um, raw silk. Um, it comes in at about £85 a metre. Uh, it's something I got hold of several years ago from um, a project in the castle. So quite lucky to have that. This has got calico ties. Uh, again lined and padded. And again some raw silk uh, pages. This one's got um, a pocket in so you'll be able to put things inside the pocket there. But again several pages and some that you co-dyed muslin as well to either use in your work or to stitch onto. So there's several pages in there. This one comes with a heart charm. So that's that one. And ties to the side in calico. That's that one. Uh, and another one, this is another B. Um, again, this one's quite delicate, pretty pinks, same uh, mixed media technique. This one has a little um, cotton crocheted um, circle on the bottom. This one comes with um, a lining with um, the eco dyed muslin. Um, it's got a pocket on the side for putting bits in, and this is um, Victorian. Base. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, so um, it's probably used for Victorian underwear or for stockings or whatever. And again, lots of um, pages, both the, the raw silk, calico, and the muslin. Just one side. You may remember all these that I recently slow stitched on my previous videos. Uh, this one's um, a calico one, it's plain on the back. Um, it's got a B freestyled onto the front. This one isn't just sewed. Um, it's um, broadcloth, uh, cotton lace, and that's a Victorian uh, netting. Um, so it's slow stitched on the front. These don't come with uh, any pages. It's been lined, padded, and lined with a uh, calico. Um, for these, you could um, either stitch um, slow pieces directly in, or you could add some sort of binding around the center, something like this. You add it like this down the back, and then you've got something inside to slip your slow stitch pieces in. So I'll leave you to decide what to do with that. And it's got um, sari silk ties. This one is quite a wide one. This one's 
been made up of uh, vintage fabrics and ordinary fabrics. It's got a freestyle um, robin on the front with some hand stitching for his um, breast. Um, this is um, got some bobbins, machine bobbins on the back, some slow stitch. It's lined inside with um, very vibrant pink sari silk with ties and an added button. So that's that one. And the next one, uh, this one, you may remember I um, photocopied a piece of my um, abstract art onto a piece of calico and added that on. It's got both freestyle for the flowers and some hand stitch in there as well. Lots of slow stitch, um, Victorian net in there, some cashmere uh, wool, very touchy feely, lots of slow stitch around there, plain back, and inside is this uh, ditzy fabric, like a cream sandy colourway, and some sorry ties there. All these, um, like I say, will be available on my website. Um, I'll put the details in the comments below if anybody's interested. Um, this one's the one of the green colourway ones that I did. That's um, Japanese silk and I've freestyled, uh, well, not freestyled, I've hand-stitched a flower on there. Uh, this has got some Sashiko threads on, two little appliqué elves, some machine um, dressmakers models on there. And it's bright yellow inside and again this is padded and it's got um, multi-way um, silks to tie and this is a nice dinky small one uh, again it's got the green green silks um, some vintage sanderson fabric some tatting um, doily on there with slow stitch and then we've got um, some applique little mushrooms at the top and some flowers down the panel at the back. That's a bit off a uh, binding off some curtains there. Uh, inside it's um, brown sandy fabric with orange flecks and uh, a multi-way in the sorry to tie the book. Another green stitchway. Uh, this one again is the, um, the silk with the bleached dots and so stitch, got an elf on the bottom there, some velvet here and the spiral. This is a Japanese silk and that's got a hand embroidered flower on the back. We've got a hand embroidered flower at the back there. Uh, lots of Sashiko thread on there and, and so stitch. Shallow inside, again padded and with um, the sari. Multicoloured ties. Another uh, smaller one. This is um, Japanese silk and that's a hand stitched leaf pattern up there. There's another leaf pattern that goes, it falls onto the back and there's an elf on the back there and a freestyle stitch, lots of slow stitch and a little bit of um, machine stitch as well. Uh, the inside is yellow again, it's padded and we've got a um, multicoloured sari silks there again. Um, this one's pretty. Um, this one's um, made up with um, a doily and it's slow stitched, lovely with the pink edging. It's got felt, vintage cottons, a little bit of a Kath Kidson, some eco dyed fabric there. You've got your, your run of the embro vintage embroidery on the back there and it's plain on the back. It's lined with the pink sari silk and padded and we've got some cream ties there. Oops, that's a beautiful one. And then we come to this one, which is this one I quite like. Uh, the colourway on this one. This one's um, lots of oddments. This was a fabric from a skirt, I think, and some from a shirt. This was from a curtain. I think a Sanderson's print. This elf on the front. Lots of slow stitch there and seed stitching. On the back, again, shirt velvet, a little bit of um, the edge off a curtain and yeah, very pretty and inside is lined with the, the Ditsy Calico again padded 
and some silk cream sari ties for that one and then we have this one it's quite a big one remember this one that I slow stitched this is um, some vintage green cotton and some brush cotton um, I cut this out as a velvet piece this uh, butterfly which was gorgeous and I did some uh, French knots on it it's been slow stitched and these are linen pieces with my paint um, wipe offs when I do my painting cashmere which has been pre style stitched on the back, I think you remember in my last video, I did the arrow stitch along the back there. I added some spirals of slow stitch around the back too. The inside is lined in like a green fabric and it has the, the dark green brushed cotton ties. So that's, that's that one. What I'll also show you is some more calico books that I, I've done. I'm not shown these on video before. But these are all the uh, mixed media style with the cottons and the gesso. This one's got an owl freestyled onto it. Uh, what I've done with these, uh, they're double bound with the, uh, the mill cottons with a couple of little charms on. And I've got uh, paper signatures in these. These are much more brightly uh, attired inside. This has got a pocket here and some bright cotton and there's two lots of signatures here and, and there's um, 22 pages in each which means it's 44 which 88 sides um, and there's a lot of my um, paint and eco dyed bits papers found papers plain papers for sketching um, quite an array of, of different uh, papers in here uh, some recipes uh, watercolour paper, ordinary paper, bits of um, magazines. But again with this, because you can take out, I'll show you on this one, these signatures come out. So you get to the middle and they just pull out like that. So you can put fabric in there. So you could use these for slow stitching as well. Or you could have some paper for notes and you slow stitch in, in one of these as well so it gives you an option but these just are a little bit different they come with two two bindings so you could put two lots of fabric or paper in and calico ties so that's the owl one these are all very similar there's another one and this one's a bee and that's very pretty again this comes with a um, lined inside and it's got a, a pocket in or oh, this one's got a tag in as well but i put in with it um, so I'd let that go with that one and it says precious little things so uh, again this is all various papers painted and found but like I say you can take them out add to them remove them put fabric in and this has got a little heart charm there's another one here with butterfly on the front Again, same technique with the mixed media and the freestyle stitch. And that's, like I say, a heart charm. Again, lined inside. This one comes with another po pocket. This says precious little things. You could put your name on there. Lined with um, a pink way fabric. Again, lots of papers in here. Sketching. There's even some of them have got extra little bits in. Some you know have been worked a little bit with tissue paper and I might have painted one or two of them for my different uh, papers but again like I say you can add take away or just put fabric and use them for a stitch book instead but one with um, anybody that likes the sea this is a blue way and it's a puffin um, on there this has got the heart dangle charm this one's lined with blue striped fabric and it's got um, Another pocket there, and again, papers there'll be a similar amount about 88 pages of pages to work into and use. And like I say, you can add in fabric pages um, quite easily. And then just one more that I quite like this one. This one's um, we've got to freestyle flowers on heart charm and that comes with the the cream ditzy fabric 
pocket with precious little things. This one comes with a, a tag saying Destiny. And this has got lots of papers in too. A uh, similar amount to the others. So you've got plenty of scope for documenting, painting, sketching. You can gesso these pages and work on top of them. But again, you can take them out, put in fabric pages and use it as a stitch book as well. Right, so that's all I'm going to show you today. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.